In this video, I will demonstrate how to create a pair of threaded brackets to install your driver backrest while your seat is in the one-up configuration. Start by removing your seat and remove the passenger pillion. Then using a piece of bar stock that measures one inch wide by 3 16 inch thick, insert it into the slot where the passenger pillion bracket normally goes. Then using a Sharpie, mark where the holes are going to go for the screws, as well as the cutoff point for the bracket. Next, it's time to drill the holes. I recommend doing this on a drill press if you have one available. Using a 732nd inch drill bit and your drill press set to the slowest possible speed, slowly drill your holes. Do not force this. Take your time. Let the drill press do the work. A second pass from the other side will make sure your holes are nice and clean. Next, measure the screw pitch. It should measure one millimeter. Using an M8 tap with a one millimeter pitch, double check against your threads on your bolt to make sure it's the correct size tap. Then, taking your time, tap your holes If you've never used a tap and die set before, you want to move about a half a turn and then back a quarter a turn. And just continue doing that until the hole is completely threaded. Next, check the fit and make sure your bolt screws in easily. Next, it's time to cut your first bracket to length. If you want to work out for your biceps, you can use that hacksaw. I prefer to use the angle grinder with a metal cutting disc. That makes short work of cutting through the 3 16 inch steel. I recommend doing this outside as this creates a lot of sparks and I highly recommend using eye and ear protection. Don't forget to use pliers to pick up that metal because it will be very, very hot. And using the angle grinder, you can clean up the cut. Keep your edges nice and smooth. And there's your finished piece. Okay, now take the piece that you just completed and place it on top of your bar stock and line the angles up. Now all you have to do is cut the next piece to length and then drill and tap your holes. Using a piece of wood underneath the bar stock allows you to make the cut all the way through without damaging the cutting wheel. To install your new threaded brackets, just slip them in place. 
remember to have the angles correct so they cannot be seen from the back side of the seat. Then you just flip your seat over and check to see if the holes aligned correctly. A T-handled Allen wrench makes short work of reinstalling the bracket bolts. As you can see, you cannot see the brackets from the back side of the seat. To reinstall the bolts in the seat, again, the T-handled Allen wrench comes in very, very handy. And now you can enjoy your driver backrest while your motorcycle is in the one-up seat configuration.